I don't know if you're like me, but something that I started to see happening in me as I was making all my realizations is how do I trust myself again? You know, I felt like I, <laughs> I felt like I got taken a bit by the whole philosophy of Mormonism. And so I started to doubt myself, which maybe that's a nat natural progression, but I started to think, I started to think, well, because I'm not totally sure about life right now, you know, what do I, how, what do I teach my kids? What, how do I start sharing with them some of my new found philosophies of life? So there's kind of a little bit of time where I just wasn't sure because Mormonism defined me. It taught me how to live my life, what I should do on Sundays, what I should do midweek, what meetings I should go to, um, what I should wear, what I shouldn't wear, what I can eat, what I shouldn't eat. <laughs> you know, the list goes on and on. And so I just, I thought, well, how do I trust myself? Now I have to figure out just what's okay to wear, what's okay to drink, what's okay to think, um, what's okay to do on a Sunday. And so, it took me a little while to feel comfortable to finally just do what I wanted. And instead of trusting what someone else thought I should do, trusting what felt good to me and set well with my heart and my soul. Uh, and that's a pretty big deal. And now I feel pretty comfortable sharing my beliefs with my children. If the time is right, I'll say, you know what, this is how I feel about that particular topic, whatever it may be, whether it's what you do on Sunday or what you don't do on Sunday or what's okay to drink. Let's just take alcohol, for example. You know, my little guy thought if you have a glass of wine or a drink with dinner that, you know, you're drunk or you're an alcoholic. And what I love about this new way of life is it opens up discussions that I would not have had before just because we didn't drink and the rule was you don't drink. Now, it's just a more open discussion about that particular issue and other issues like it. So learning to trust myself again was also a process, um, but a good one. And trusting my gut, I think that's the biggest thing you can do, what's feeling right to you. Now that you've had this complete paradigm shift and you yourself are putting the pieces back into what feels good to you, uh, my advice would be to take your time with it because there's no rush. <laughs> I think the same goes even for leaving the church. There's no rush. Do it at your own pace. Um, it's not a race. And you have to do what works for you and your family, for you, what's resonating with your soul. So you will trust yourself again, even though if right now you feel a little bit, you know, free falling. Uh, it might be hard to enjoy the process, but there is beauty in this process of, of, of realizing that life has a lot more options than before. So take the time, trust yourself, and enjoy the process.